No! Ben! Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Benten games for the Sony PlayStation Ben 2. 10 Protector of the Earth is awesome. But I don't recommend it to you on an emulator. Just look at these glitches. Play it on a PlayStation. It has just the right game formula for a game like this to be incredible. It features 5 aliens, 4 arms, hard blast, accelerate, cannon bolt, and wild wine. And all aliens are so awesome that you don't know with which one you want to play. Each one is unique and has different moves. And the combat, even though repetitive, it's always fun and doesn't get boring. There are also boss fights to spice things up and a pretty nice amount of different enemies. And there is a nice number of 24 different levels and levels really are different. From jungles to swamps to Mount Rushmore, the game has a lot of variety. And the graphics are really nice, imitating the cartoon. Also on top of all of this, comes a story that keeps you playing. It's a nice game you should definitely check out. It fell short, but I don't know if it fell short because it's short, or because I had a lot of fun playing it, and the time flight. In Band 10 Alien Force you control 5 aliens. Swampfire, Humongosaur, Big Chill, Spider Monkey and Jetray. The amount of enemies is slimmer, you have fewer types of enemies to fight and there are only 8 levels in total in the game. The game is repetitive, it's true, you just plow through enemies, but I had fun doing it. The game mostly consists on arcade wave of enemy fightings and some puzzles added to the mix. It's a good game overall, but not amazing. Also you can play with Kevin and Gwen as characters during the campaign. Kevin can transform into iron and wood, and Gwen does her magic. Bent and Alien Force Vilkex Attacks has an interesting story, and the gameplay is good too. The game felt slow, at least to me it felt slow, especially when you had to walk with Humongousaur. But other aliens are kind of slow too, and the spaces are pretty big in the game. But don't get me wrong, it's still a good game, especially on paper. I mean, you get 9 different aliens to play. You get Spider Monkey, Humongousaur, Big Chill, Swampfire, Goop, Brainstorm, which has its first video game appearance, Echo Echo, Chroma Storm, and Jetray. And, and Cannonbolt, the one you see in the video now. And each alien feels different, and has different moves and different abilities. But in the end, you'll most probably just stick to 2 or 3 that are more useful, like Spider Monkey, because it moves quicker and leave the rest almost untouched. Graphically, the game looks really good, imitating the art style of an episode. The level designs are also nice looking. Too bad that the character moves so slow, because it would have been way nicer and the game would have been way nicer if you had a quicker way to pass through the levels. The dimensions would have been maybe a great plus. This game is, incre is incredibly varied. And on paper, it should have been a really great game. It's still a good game if you can get if you can get past the slowness. Bent and Ultimate Alien Cosmic Destruction reminds of Vilkex Attacks, but is better than that game. It features ten aliens: Amphibian, which has its first video game appearance, Armadillo, Big Chill, Echo Echo, Humongousaur, Energy, Swampfire, Spider Monkey, Terra Spin, and Water Hazard. Also the game feels faster now. The combat is nice too, you have 4 different attack moves that on most aliens is the same. But the combat is still good. As for level designs, they look better now. The spaces are narrower, but even so they still remain very big. There is also a big variety of enemies, and there are 15 bosses in the game. Check out the game, you might like it. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe and if you want follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I left the links to those in the video description. Also if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.